Both Intel and AMD have recently released plenty of new hardware which include the newer and crazy fast protocol like PCIe Gen 5 and USB 4. But these are available on the top tier motherboards and we still have to catch up on the mainstream platform with the extremely confusing USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 which were the maximum available for external drives besides Thunderbolt. Thus today we are looking at Sabrent's new S20 GB per second external enclosure, the Rocket Nano V2, the follow-up to the previous Nano series, which I also covered as well. The V2 lineup consists of three different size options to choose from, with models from 1TB, 2 and 4. My test sample retails for 120 bucks on Amazon, which is great value for money considering its specs. Branding is excellent and all of their most important specs are easily visible on both sides of the box. Once more, I love the fact that Sabrent ships all of their SSDs in metal cases. Removing the outer sleeve gives access to the case. The cables reside in their own section, while the Rocket Nano V2 SSD is proudly presented in its foam padding. You get two Sabrent branded cables, one Type-C to Type-C and a Type-C to Type-A. As you can see, it has its own protective silicon outer case that has plenty of cutouts on all sides. That small one on the front is for the activity LED, for example. Now this is a Type-C USB port that will offer you up to 20 GB per second if you have a free USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 port. This is achieved thanks to the custom inner NVMe M.2 2280 SSD platform, a Fison U18 controller that takes care of the communication to the 128 layer SK Hynix V6 TLC NAND cells. Unfortunately, the port is not protected to the elements, so there is no IPX rating. This drive is extremely small and compact, even with its protective sleeve on. As you can see, this even matches the drive's front design elements. Furthermore, the Nano Rocket V2 outer case is made from high-grade aluminum. Worth mentioning that the activity LED will flash when the drive is being used, otherwise it will be off even when plugged in. Testing time. My current Ryzen setup on the Asus B550 motherboard doesn't have a 20 GB per second port, so it tops out at just 10 GB per second. In order to fully test the Sabrent's capability, you will need a PCIe adapter card like this one, but I can only install it on my secondary system. Thus, most of the synthetics in each scenario confirm what the Nano V2 was advertised to do. But my favorite tests are the real-life copy transfers. I will move to the SSD a single 5.4GB video file to test the burst speed, followed by a big 119GB installation folder from the Red Dead Redemption 2 game. Apparently, the SLC cache on this mod is around 24GB, which is reserved for random writes. Since the SSD has TLC cells, it can afford to have a sustained write capability, as you can see from the flat average writing speeds, even when transferring large mixed data files. Regarding the operating temps, the Nano V2 behaves really well, barely touching mid 40s degrees in my tests, because the M.2 drive inside is basically surrounded by an all aluminium cage, which in turn makes the whole unit act like one big heatsink. All in all, this Sabrent Rocket Nano V2 external enclosure is a logical evolution over its previous series because now it features the upgraded bandwidth of 20 GB per second to avoid saying the confusing USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 naming scheme. From what I understand, they will upgrade this naming scheme to a more simpler one, so let's hope they make it. Then the excellent combination from the SK Hynix cells and the Fison U18 controller, all of which are on a custom hybrid PCB, they managed to provide as advertised great sustained writing speeds. It will not set records of peak absolute numbers, but thanks to its TLC native cells, it will always have an upper hand over QLC NAND equivalent drives. Finally, taking into consideration its tiny footprint and high portability, well, this is an absolute best bang for buck.